Let's take a look at a method of transferring cost, quantity and resource information between BIDCON BIM and Asta Power Project BIM. We'll do this using an IFC4 file as our single source of information. And for this example, we'll use the Elico BIM cloud to transfer the file or to actually hold the file. This will demonstrate that the process can be carried out from virtually anywhere in the world. So in this example, we've already pre-populated the cost plan. This was all done using the quantity takeoff. We can see by hiding the imported objects, we can see what's left in the model. Uh, by the flip side, we can see only the items that are imported as well if we wanted to. I'm just going to demonstrate that the objects in the cost plan are linked. Anything that's linked is highlighted. When I step into transparent mode, we can see those a bit more clearly. Okay. We can also see individually each of the objects that have been linked. And for each of those, of course, we can see the key quantity and specification information and anything else that's been associated with those objects. We can also see that those linked objects have a rate buildup associated with those. So this can be done very easily via BIDCON. It can be done from scratch, or it could be done by associating an item in the cost library uh, with that line item. To actually transfer the information over to Power Project, we'll use the Export to Cloud button. This gives an overview of all of the objects that have costs and quantities associated with them and some of the, the high level information that's going to be transferred across. A lot more information than this is actually sent through. Now, if we open up Asta Power Project BIM using the same model, this model is also held in the same area in the Alika BIM cloud. And when we import the costs, we can choose what actually happens using those costs. So I'm going to run an example that you will have seen before. Let's create a schedule, a very rudimentary schedule, from some searches, IFC searches, returning the results of certain items within the model. We can see there are no costs and quantities applied just yet. Uh, before we do that, let's link the tasks using the standard finish start links and reschedule our program here. Via the BIM tab, let's import costs. Choose the cost schedule that we want to import. In this case, I'm only going to create costs for objects that have been linked to tasks. And we can see that Power Project creates resource allocations and cost allocations according to those objects. It also brings in the cost and quantity information and creates some permanent and consumable resources. Okay, let's now clear everything here, delete everything from this schedule and import the costs again. This time, let's create tasks directly from those objects with costs associated to them. So when we do that, Power Project, let's, let's link those tasks, the Power Project has created tasks and resource allocations And it's done that for the correct duration, not just a standard one week allocation per task. It's created the right duration of labor resource allocation required. This is all a starting point. Your planner will still need to use their experience and know how to make sure that the schedule is correct, but it gives them a head start and it ensures that their schedule is linked to correct cost, quantity and resource information, which has been expertly put together by an experienced cost consultant or estimator using BIDCON and transferred across, meaning that no relevant information is lost 
This interoperability between the programs also increases collaboration and de-risks the entire process.